Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you some more complex moving for the robots in RoboCode. Now the code I have in front of me is uh, part of the walls robot, which we can see here. And what the ro walls robot does is it just moves around the edges of the walls. And when it detects another robot, it shoots. Very simple stuff when looked on here, but there's a little bit of complex code behind it. Not too difficult though. Now everything I'm mentioning here can also be found on the RoboCode wiki. So you can read it just here. And all the sample code is up there too. And the source code for all the sample bots that come with RoboCode are in the RoboCode directory. So let's get started. Here we can see our run method. Now remember the run method is the first method called by RoboCode when starting your robot. And here we're just changing the colors of our robot. So we're setting the body color to black, gun color to black, radar to orange, bullet color to cyan, and our scan color to cyan. Now the scan color, which we can't see here, is what color the arc is for our radar if we were to turn on that preference, which we'll do now. So we go to options, preferences, view options, and visible scan arcs. Now this can help with debugging as well. So if I unpause it, we can see this is the radar. And every time that radar detects another robot, we can see that we're shooting a bullet. Okay, so if we go back to our code, here is our movement amount. And that is the simple calculation of the maximum distance across our battlefield. So it's just determining whether the width or the height is the maximum, and that's going to be the maximum distance we can move. Okay, and here we're turning left, but only by a remainder of 90. So it's simply just going to find the uh, closest wall to move to. So we're turning left, we found a wall, and we're going to be moving this way. And we move, we move our move amount, which is the maximum distance, and we automatically stop when we hit a wall. Then we're going to turn the gun 90 degrees, we're going to turn right 90 degrees, and start moving across the edge of the wall until we get to a corner. And that's where this code here is. This is just going to loop through infinitely until our robot wins or loses. So our peak boolean is set to true here, and I'll explain that what that does in a moment. So now that we're turned right, we're going to move towards the corner by move amount. And remember, move amount is the maximum distance a person can move on this battlefield. And that is from here to here. So if we were in this corner, we would move all the way to this one, which may be 1,000 pixels. But if we're in this corner, we're still going to try move 1000 pixels but when we hit here which might be 800 we're just going to stop we're going to turn we're going to scan and then we're going to shoot and start moving again and we just do that on each corner so when we move ahead we're also scanning and on a scanned robot we're going to fire a bullet of two energy so it's slightly more powerful than the one in our previous examples and now if our peak boolean is set to true we're going to scan again and this is just so we don't lose track of where the opponents are. And note that we all have uh, we have all the comments in the code here if you want to follow through on your own. Okay. Then we set our peak to false and we turn 90 degrees. And when we hit a robot, as in when our robot runs into another one, we don't want to keep ramming them because that does damage to ourselves, but it also does damage to the other robot. But we want to, we don't want to do that with our walls robot. So what we're going to do is move in the opposite direction. So we're going to turn 180 degrees. We're going to move back 100 spaces. That's if they were in front of us. If they were behind us, we're just going to move away from them again. Then we're simply going to turn a corner and move up. So if we were to hit a robot here, coming from this direction we hit a robot, we're just going to turn 90 degrees, we're going to move up to this wall, and we're going to start again and keep going round. Now, Walls is one of the best robots in the sample package, 
and it's because of this reason that it sticks to the walls that it is so good because it is eliminating all that space behind it where it can be shot. So that's all for the robot and movement. There are much more complex movement protocols that you can see on the RoboWiki and if you're feeling adventurous you can start designing your own. Thanks for, uh, thanks for listening everyone and in our next video we'll be looking at targeting.